Hi everyone, I am Avinash Kumar and my partner is Gurkaval Preet Singh. Uh, today we are going to describe the painting of the Lahore Court. Starting with a bit of the introduction, uh, we will examine the painting The Court of Lahore by the August Kofut, which shows the empire of the Maharaja Ranjit Singh who ruled in the 1800s. Now coming to the thesis statement. Uh, the artist holds a significant artistic values as he is a skillfully portrays the power and the relationships at the Maharaja Ranjit Singh's court, which shows the cultural diversity and the political strength of the Sikh Empire at that time. In the next slide, we will show the painting of the Lahore court and the artist who portrays all the values and the emotions of the artist very gracefully. Let's uh, talk about the background information of the artist. Uh, first and the foremost is that he was a Hungarian artist who gained a recognition for his painting in the particular style. Uh, the second point is that he is a generality extensively throughout the Asia where he produced a multiple paintings showing a daily life of the people, landscapes, and the historical events. And the last point about the artist is that the <coughs> August Kofut uh, art frequently idolized the Eastern culture and exhaustic images that were uh, the most trendy of the 19th century. Now, my partner is going to take you out of the further information. Hi, good evening everyone. My name is Kulkar Prishing. Now I am going to talk about the social, historical and political context. Maharaja Ranji Singh governed the Sikh Empire from 1801 to 1839, a term characterized by notable military victories and government steadiness. Under Ranji Singh's rules, the Sikh Empire was recognized for its diversity, acceptance of various religions and improvements in governance. The Lahore court symbolized wealth, power, and interchange, drawing artists, scholars, and a diploma around the globe. The next is now I am going to talk about the artist purpose. Sacrifice attempted to depict the magnificence and cultural wealth of the Sikh Empire courts. During Maharaja Ranjit Singh's reign, his artwork acted as a visual record of the wealth, variety, and political relationship present in the Lahore court at that time. Sacrifice arts also shown the European fascination with Eastern cultures as seen in the 19th century European art. The next is Now I am going to talk about the evolution of value. Sacrifice painting the court of Lahore is a considered valuable art because it preserves the visual history of an important era in Sikh history. The artwork gives a glimpse into the political, cultural and artistic aspects of Maharaja Ranjit Singh course. It helps deepen our comprehension of colonial intersection, oriental perspectives and the portal of non-Western societies in European art of the 19th century. Let's talk about the principles of the aesthetic, uh, which is the main part of the whole assignment. Starting with my first point, uh, which is the significancy or the accuracy. Let's uh, dig down deep to understand it with the more details. Uh, the painting provides the insight into the aesthetic history of the Maharaja Ranjit Singh's court. Moreover, the painting speaks very loudly. The majestic culture and the diplomatic ties that defined the power of the Sikh Empire. By portraying the courtly life and the detail of the painting imports the knowledge, social, political and the working of the area. Well, the second objective is that uh, the painting shows the values of the power, wealth and the cultural exchange that played a crucial role in the Sikh Empire. It represents the belief of the creator as well as the cultural customs in the court of the Maharaja Ranjit Singh. Uh, the uh, third objective is that it has a large contribute to the social and the political change. Now let's uh, discuss it how. Uh, although the painting may not aim to directly impact 
the social and the political change, but it acts like as a historical record that put the glance of the Sikh Empire. Uh, it helps to enhance the understand the South Asian history and the cultural wealth of the empire. Furthermore, creating enjoyment is our fourth objective. Well, it brings a pleasure to the audience with its aesthetic features, the rich colors, detailed elements, and the balanced arrangement portraits, the feeling of the luxurious, and the beautiful imaginary portrait in the artwork. The fifth objective is the moving to the creating feeling of the amazement and fascinating in the spectators, especially those who enjoy the history or the art. The visual representation of the clothing, building and the busy scene in the court might provoke the feeling linked to the fascination respect of the different cultures. Uh, the last objective is that creating the unique experiences without the emotions. Uh, it also stirred up a feeling of the being transported into a history and involvement of the audience. The painting transports the views of the court of the Maharaja Ranjit Singh, encourages them to imagine themselves in the different time and the place by the responding disbelief. At the end, I am going to talk about the conclusion. To sum up, the court of Lahore is a valuable artwork that encompasses numerous aesthetics principles discussed earlier. By accurately depicting historical events, showcasing cultural beliefs and evoking emotions, the painting enhances our knowledge of Sikh history and culture, while also offering a visual appealing experience for spectators. So uh, thank you everyone, uh, this is the end of our assignment.